you go out the country <coughs> and you go to try to date out the country, those men are going to treat you better. And that's the same thing the guys say when they go out the country, they but see, treat them it's better. two different. There's two different things. Go find a decent man that can take care of you, and then be a traditional wife. For him. Men don't mind dating down. I don't mind marrying a woman that works in McDonald's flipping burgers. So everybody's on this whole, oh, passport bros, passport bros. Y'all are going to these third world countries so? and you're picking up women who have been taught since this age, go get you a rich man that could give you a better life. Hey guys, welcome back to More Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, click that notification bell just to make sure you get my videos as soon as I release them. All right, guys. Here we have an interview with the brother King Riches, and he is going at this passport queen. She calls herself a passport queen, y'all. Man, this one is, is crazy. You already know more nonsensical arguments from more passport bro hating women pretty much trying to bite us but let's get into a series you're talking about you know what i do want to talk about and we haven't got onto it yeah. is the passport queens okay oh, Jesus. the passport hey. queen right, let's go passport queen the delusion because... of passport queen yeah. Damn. let me tell you so i put a little context right i put up a video about south london men and I put up a video. I was like, you know, go to South London, get you a man. These men are fine. Da, 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 all this other stuff, right? Oh, when I you. yes, yes, oh, that's you. me. Yes. On the internet, we have an agenda that we have to push in terms of the low <laughs> quality of treatment that some of <laughs> some of us have experienced when it comes to dating guys in London and England. But then when you go abroad, you're treated like the goddess you are and yeah so a lot of women why are you a goddess but it's, it's vice it's, but it's the truth. i am it's like, vice versa you're yeah. woman, i i said i said you're a rapper I said. you're a rapper no but I it's, it's the I truth said. like in wherever you live What's at the, the men no wherever you live at the men are going to treat you like subpar because you're you're normal to them you know there's a thousand of yous they know a thousand a thousand of yous come on they're when brainwashing you go, girls into going on coffee dates when, and splitting bills it's not right like you wouldn't Ralph, do when that, you lost that one, just saying just i'm just saying you lost that, i'm just when saying you lost that argument, it's okay. when you just go saying. when you go out the country <laughs> and you go to try to date out the country those men are going to treat you better and that's the same thing the guys say when they they go out of the country they but see it's better. two different there's two different things so everybody's on this whole oh passport bros passport bros y'all are going to these third world countries so? and you're picking up women who so? have been taught since this age go get you a rich american man a rich whatever you came in. go get you a rich man that could give you a better life go get you a rich man that could give you a better life wait a minute who are you right that's what they tell yeah, they, didn't, no, no, no. they didn't put nationality on it no they put, go find a decent man that can take care of you and then be a traditional wife for him Thanks. that's yes, what but they're being when taught they, i'm Don't telling you add that little caveat i of, am yeah, find a rich no, american man i'm gonna tell that's you that's not what they're I, taught whatever i say is because this is stuff shout out to king riches he's definitely breaking it breaking her down how she's adding stuff in there you know, women do that. They constantly, they do that about the passport rules, especially, right? And she's clearly stealing the whole idea of the passport bros and trying to make it her own, which is crazy. It's clearly not the same. Everybody that's watching right now that under the sound of my voice knows it's just not the same. Hypergamy is real. You want a man that can provide for you. These guys don't make the type of income to provide for you at the end of the day. You're not going to respect him. You have to pick him up, take care of him. At the end of the day, you're not going to respect that man. I'm not saying you can't love him. I'm saying the respect factor goes out the window. It's natural. It's in a woman's DNA not to respect it. She'll try and she'll give him some more respect. She won't bash him, but you guys get what I'm saying. Let me continue. That I've seen. If I say something, I only talk about experiences that I've seen, that I've went through, that I've, I've, I've researched. Mm. Anytime I say something, right? Mm. DR. I love going to DR, right? Love it there. When you go there, literally, all you see is like kind of like those 
older American guys, no matter what their race is, <laughs> 40 up, maybe even some 35 up, no matter what their race is, and you see them in DR, wife hunting, Columbia, wife hunting, all these places because they can get these beautiful women mm -hmm. who just want a better life. Yeah, and their parents that? teach them and their mothers teach them since they were younger. Like you said, be a traditional woman so a man could come and take care of you. Where they're hoping they hang out, where tourists hang out, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is what the problem with passport bros are, right? Don't you want a it's better okay. life? It's okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Wait, you want a better the... life? You want of a course. guy that makes more money than you, so you can have a better life. Of course, life. I want. So does she. So of does course, she. I want she a better life. She wants a life. man that's gonna spend five hundred pounds Let me on a day. This, she though. wants a man that's rich that can give her a better life too. Let me say this. So what's this. the difference between you lot? You lot wasn't raised to be traditional wives. That's the difference. No. You go get our garbage. Oh, wow. let me finish. Yes, it is. Let yeah, me I've finish. Been yes, it is. I've been engaged, so what's your point? Okay, you know okay, this. okay. So what happened then? You know this. I don't know that. I've I forgotten it. Wait, let me say this, right? <laughs> so this is the problem what I have for passport bros, right? This is my problem with passport bros. Mm. Y'all go to these third world countries. Y'all get these women because, oh, I can just get me a woman over here. She's going to sit down. She's going to shut up. She's going to do da 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 as well. And she's going to be bad, right? Mm. But when a woman in America says the same thing, I want you to do this, 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 and that for me. I could be that stay-at-home wife. You can't go to a There's a problem. No. Now look at this. Single? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a husband? What's going uh, on? I have a boyfriend. Okay. Is he Filipino or a foreigner? Uh, it's Filipino. Let's say you didn't have a boyfriend. How much money does a guy need to make to date you? Not, I love you. Think about it. Be honest. Okay, so maybe that makes more money than me. As long as he makes more money than you, that's yeah. all that matters. But I don't actually base dating through, you know, money and such, since yeah. I'm actually a very low maintenance girl. Really? You can take me on dates on just the beach. You look high maintenance to me. <laughs> I'm, jo I'm Thank joking. Thank you. That's actually a of compliment. Of course. It's a compliment. You look yeah, well put yeah. together, well dressed. I yeah. guess you're going for job interviews, right? I'm okay. actually a, like, a bare minimum enjoyer. Yeah, I like, I like gifts, but it's not actually, like, necessary, but mm -hmm. it makes me happy, though. So what about your boyfriend? How did he meet you? How did he approach you? Tell me a little bit about him. I've actually met him on a dating site. Yeah. Um, things are actually complicated for us right now, so we're really, really not seeing each other. Oh, I'm sorry and, to hear that. Uh, his love language aligns with mine, which is quality time. Okay, what is a love language? I'm new to this. Tell me how many are there? I think there are five. I don't actually memorize all of them, but I have five all five love languages which is full design physical touch um gift giving and Others. words of affirmation and i forgot the last one and which one is the most important to you so let's say you're looking for a new boyfriend all the time all the time okay yeah, the most, most important to me. and also physical touch yes yeah. i'm like a very clingy person to someone <laughs> that i like yeah but when it comes to strangers i don't really like uh, touching any other physical contact. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I can say that I'm actually a very reserved person. Yeah. I reserve myself to those who I only like. How much money does a guy have to spend on you on the first date? Oh, oh my god, it could be zero. I would pay. You would pay? Yeah, hell yeah. You're gonna take the lead? Yes, absolutely. Now look at this. How much money should a guy be making? $70,000 oh. a year. Enough to support my shopping addiction. How much money does a guy need to make in order to be with you? A lot. How much? Minimum. No, a million. Per year? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. How much money do you think a guy should make per year? I mean, if I'm like dating them, it'd be nice if they were at least making 100000 Like A million? Two million? That is your receipt. But no, we no, no. say it is a problem. This is a flawed, but passport flawed argument. Bros. Flawed argument. What's, what's, do you know why? Because what? of hypergamy. You can't go to a third world country, pick up a man that's going to be a millionaire, good looking, six foot, great D, and then come and be your perfect guy. Because women are hypergamous, they want males who are of equivalent or higher status than them socially. And the, the same isn't true in reverse. And so what that seems to indicate is that women, and, and the data bears this out, by the way, women are not happy if they are associated with a relatively low status partner in comparison to their own status. That That's highly unlikely. The likelihood is those type of guys are going to be in your country of origin because you come from a first world country. Yeah. It doesn't work the same. This is what, men and women are different. And what that seems to me to mean is that to some degree, 
it's incumbent on women to support their husbands to the degree that's possible in achieving and maintaining the status that would make them as women satisfied. Men don't mind dating down. Men don't mind marrying down. You could, as a man, I don't mind marrying a woman that works in McDonald's flipping burgers, bro. As long as she's bad and she's cooperative, it doesn't matter, bro. She don't need to be, uh, she could be on the bus, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. Like, Are you saying that but passport women queens? don't like that. Are you saying passport queens won't work? Cause it will work. Women are pleased by being with the best man in the area. Women are pleased by you being the best version of yourself. More status, success, income, etc. The woman wins. All his success, she benefits from that. It's not the same. When a woman makes more money, earns more status, etc. And she starts to outgrow her man, she's going to look for a better man. I didn't think it would work. Women, it definitely will. Oh if if God, women, because I'm trying to understand what she, because you jumped into another topic. What I was I'm just not, saying. This is the same topic. No, no, no. Bro. What I'm saying is that what I was trying to say is that it's a problem when we say that we have standards here. And this is what I'm we not want for a, a man. Problem. You see what she brought up? It's a problem because we have standards here. And we say it's what we want from, from, from a man. King Richard broke it down, but you know, he didn't break down. He didn't answer that right there, right? Your standards, it's not worth it. He, he did break it down, but in a different way, right? Guys are going because they don't want the same drama that comes with it. Guys aren't getting nothing in return for it. Hence, what do you bring to the table? There's a reason guys continuously ask that. Because what I get is way more than what a lot of women in America can provide. I'm not saying that none of them will provide. I'm saying most of them won't provide. Big difference. And I'm that we want a man to take care of us, but y'all will go get a third world country girl mm -hmm. and go take care of her. I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm just saying it's not going to work how you want it to work. Because if, you, okay, let's say in the best case scenario, you go to Colombia, you pick up some Afro Latina guy and he's tall and he's good looking. More likely, more likely he's not going to have the money to look after you and him in America, because you're not going to want to live in Colombia. You're going to want to live in America with all the creature comforts that you've grown up and is normal to you. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be able to sustain a life with you. So it's gonna you're going to have a fun time for maybe six months, maybe a year. But then after a while, you're like, I don't respect this guy because mm -hmm. I'm paying for everything. Exactly. So I'm going to say this, right? I'm going to break down passport queens for you real quick. Why oh, passport God. queens <laughs> will well, work out. I said out. just when... Phew. No, you're, no, I'm going to... Your points, the points that you're making, okay. I'm going to tell you, right? Mm -hmm. And it's, I'm going to get not deep with it, but okay. No, get deep. deep. There, so we all know that women outnumber men, right? So a lot of time, women, we just have to fight to have a man, right? There are some women that are very successful, right? I'm successful. Uh, let's say I have a six-figure job, 400K a year. I just need a man. I just need a man for that comfort. I work hard anyway. I, I, there's women who don't mind taking care of men. You should say, say I'm making 600K a year. I want a man for comfort. Men don't want that. Men want women for respect and for care. You know what? If you can go out there and provide that, more power to you. But she's clearly lying to herself. She's clearly lying to try to prove a point that women can do it too. Just like they do with the WNBA or other sports leagues and wonder why it doesn't make the, the same amount of money, right? Oh, we deserve the money too. It's not the same. It's not meant for women to do, truly and honestly. Women are naturally hypergamous for a reason. It's not meant for you to do what passport bros do. Women are trying it and finding themselves in danger because guys are, can be quite reckless overseas. Women can too, but it's different. These are men doing it, not women. Men can easily date down. Not so much for, easy. It's not really easy for women to. Now, would you honestly date a man who is making $25 an hour or $21 an hour? I personally wouldn't because I make more than that. So I wouldn't want, like, I wouldn't want that. You know, it's nothing wrong with that. I, mm -hmm. It's not like, you know, I'm shutting that down for anybody else. For me personally, because, you know, I do make, I'm not, you know, I just, I'm able to. This, this is why, this is why I have zero sympathy for women like you <laughs> who will find yourself at the end of life out of money. I hope you find a bench or a nice tent to live in. Excuse me, I'll tell you, I will, I will tell why you why. No, excuse Don't me. Don't know what talk. No. What, bitch, what is your problem? Don't know, but, see, this is what I'm telling you. Because, because your stupid you're better than you are. Stop trying to compete with us. Let it go. Let it go. Guys are leaving 
for more than just a woman too. Guys are leaving for peace. Guys are leaving for advancement. By any means, we will get it. And of course, I don't mean by getting violent. I mean, guys will continue to go and find a place until they find that happiness, right? And I suggest more guys go on to find that happiness. But shout out to King Riches, who kind of gave her some clarity in, in somewhat, but she still is not getting it. She's going to continuously try to explain and really prove no point and just prove passport bulls right at the end of the day. Yeah, see this here, it's never going to change. And you know what? It's fine. It's truly fine. And I'll tell you why it's fine, because guys have already realized. This is the way. Passport, bro. Passport, no. It's more to life than dealing with this nonsense.